All right, here I am at the Tower of London. It's like a castle, so it's not like real high or anything, but it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can get a better view. There's a lot, a lot of people here. So as you can see, it is pretty, pretty big. It's gonna take me a while to go through it. All right, still I'm not in the Tower of London. Seriously, like the busiest place I've ever been. Look at all these people. And I believe I have a prepaid ticket. So they better not tell me that I cannot get in when I walk down here. Oh, check out this view. They got all these like roses up. I don't know if that's uh, that's always there or just now. If I can see with the camera, I will show you guys. It's like fields of them. Oh yeah. Be cool to run through those. All right. I'm on my way to the tower. So as you guys can see, it looks like a castle. All the way around, there's windows up top. Trying to be careful not to cover up the speaker. I have been doing that, I, I saw in some of my videos, so being real careful, I didn't realize that before. As you can see, the streets are all brick. So yes, history with Mungri. Enjoy it. So here we have some different towers. I have them all labeled. I believe the crown jewel is here somewhere. So we're gonna look for it and Sly Cooper it out. So here we have some sort of tower gate. Let's check that out. bloody tower here and the Wakefield Tower so I'm not sure which direction I'm gonna go in hold on one second all right this is pretty cool there's a whole bunch of cannons different sizes and then it looks like a crossbow at the end and then a little cannon here Check out the armor on this guy. <laughs> now that is a glorious, the most protective nut cup I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm coming up by this elephant here. Here's some like crown jewel things that you can buy, imitations. Here's this like elephant. I have no idea where I'm going here. I just figured I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it and just go wherever. So I'm not gonna record it all. I'm gonna enjoy it myself. But when we get to the crown jewels, I'll show you guys that for sure. And whatever this thing is, I'll show you this too. Well, these are the big cannons, which is pretty neat. All right, so I'm going for the crown jewel room as soon as I can find it. See you guys there. All right, this is probably gonna be the longest line I've ever stood in in my life. Look at this thing. There's the entrance to the crown jewels. Here's the line. It weaves in and out, weaves in and out. Goes all the way back there. So, if I can film in there, you guys can thank me later for standing in this enormous line. Look at this thing. It's gotta be a couple thousand people long. I hate lines. I absolutely hate lines. So, you can thank me now, and later. The line's still going. Look at that. I'm gonna stand in this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, here we go. Should make you guys wait with me. Not going to though, because I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna stand by the elephant. Got some sort of play going on here between that guy and this guy. Well, listen here, Sonny Jim. 
You see, we in the Royal Fusiliers are taking only those of the highest quality. And even if they have not had military service, their experience upon Civvy Street will serve them with good stead. For example, this man here, he was in the Boy Scout. Were you not, sir? This man here, he is a big game hunter. And after taking down many a full element he has. I do not lack for courage and I will not move from this spot until you allow me to enlist in the 10th Battalion. Now listen here, son. Okay. I respect your vim and vigour, but we are at full complement. As such, you're going to have to look somewhere else. Right, the rest of you lot, what are you doing looking at me? Mr. Barrington Maxwell there, he's giving you a speech. Get yourselves over there. What do you want? A written invitation? Step forward now. <laughs> cool. The route has got to get old. So here we are with the crown jewels. I just got it out from seeing the crown jewels. I couldn't record anything in there and everything is pretty spectacular. There's like a punch bowl made out of gold that is the size of a tree trunk and I was like yeah that'd be awesome just because you have a lot of punch of course and then there was a lot of crowns worn by all the kings and queens and they were very very shiny so if you like shiny things you would like it but yeah I think I'm done recording here for the day and I'll see you guys all next adventure. We're going into the torture chamber. First up we have the scavenger's daughter, that's what it's called, and it looks like it like crunches you into a small ball. So there it is. And here's a picture of it happening to a guy. So that one crunches you up and the next one will stretch you out. It's called the rack. I will not, I will not let you confess.